Hi everyone, welcome back. I have already recorded some videos about this barcode and QR detection on my YouTube channel. If you did not yet watch them before starting, maybe you can check those videos. They are related about this Zinc and Zbar library, which are really famous about this barcode and QR detection. So we already tried them. Also, we tried QR detection class of OpenCV. We also tried that class. And also with the version of OpenCV 4.6, if I'm not wrong, there is a barcode detector class is included to OpenCV. And in this video, we are gonna try it with this. Try this with C++. I'm gonna uh, check the example of some images. Also, I will check uh, with my camera, with my webcam. So I have already some EAN type of barcodes beside me. So I will try them and I will check the accuracy and performance how it's working and uh okay before starting also maybe there is also an example in here you can check this example maybe in your case also the these are four type four standards of barcode which are available which OpenCV supports the most famous one this ean act may most of the cases this is enough for uh, some projects for some tasks so it's uh, already uh, supporting this type so this is good to know and uh, also also this uh, barcode detector coming with some uh, enhancer inside which is in here uh, this constructor can take uh, some proto txt and some model of widget which is by the way this is also an, another example this is little more comprehensive i'm just make this simplifier and write a simple code i'm gonna show you that one uh, what i want to show you in here the this uh, model github link is in here so you need to you need to download this zip and just we need this uh, coffee model and this proto txt file which i already downloaded i we just need this and this one because the using with the enhancer is gonna be better because uh, just by using these models it's gonna enhance your input and uh, the accuracy of this barcode detector class is gonna increase uh, so it's good to use these things if you can yeah but if your inputs are really good so for example the uh, resolution may be better or not blur so you can directly use the uh, constructor without any uh, model okay but for my case I want to use this and that's all we can switch to the code part i have already simplified as i said really simple code and i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna maybe explain little uh, this barcode hpp we are gonna need this is included in here by the way the opencv version should be more than 4.6 so if your opencv version is lower you need to uh, uninstall and reinstall your opencv to be able to use this barcode detector class uh, maybe you can check also my latest video which is about the OpenCV 4.8.0 installation so you can check them also you can install uh, with the help of that okay what else uh, I can explain simply the code uh, here all I'm doing is just calling the constructor of barcode detector I'm creating it and just by giving this proto txt and coffee model pets which is in here so I just gave uh, their pets to here and also since I'm gonna use this one because let's check again there are already some just two function actually there are uh, this is the this is more comprehensive than this one so I'm gonna choose this uh, this is uh, needed some vector type of inputs uh, which is decoded info which is gonna be uh, included if there is a uh, barcode detected the barcode information is gonna be inside of this uh, so the code type also the type of the barcode which is EAN or others in here for of one of these four and uh, this is gonna be also points after detecting barcode uh, you can also uh, it's gonna give you the position of the barcode via uh, with the with four points so with these four points uh, it's mostly rectangle of the barcode which is uh, comprehensing the barcode so these points also it's gonna give you points decoded type and decoded info these three information we needed so that's why i already created these three uh, member okay um, these are all vectors 
after that I am just reading an image which is maybe we can start with the simplest one and barcode book which is OpenCA example also using this one this is only including a, a barcode EAN type of I'm gonna show the input so I can also because some modification on the output so we can it's good to uh, see both input and output and I'm I'm calling the function giving the input image giving the decoded info decoded type and the corners this part is important just because there is a logic uh, first of all if corners is empty there is no barcode so it's not gonna enter it's gonna directly give you the input yeah you are gonna see the input at the output because uh, if corners empty it means there is no barcode detected if there is corners we entered here I'm gonna write some barcode detected to the frame so at least we can understand there is barcode by the way there are uh, three cases with this OpenCV barcode detector we need to know this the first case there is no barcode the second case there is a barcode but not decoded this is important because OpenCV is good to detect barcodes but in some cases it's not good to, to uh, recognize detection and recognition so uh, maybe in here we can write barcode detected but not uh, recognized we can write this is better maybe and the third case barcode detected also at the same time it recognized so it can also uh, read the info so how we are gonna understand the first case is easy if there is uh, the corners is empty which is the other case I didn't write to here it means there is no bar barcode second case barcode detected which is entered to this if but not recognized how you are gonna understand that one uh, if um, if the this decoded info or decoded type board is same if this is detected this should be also detected so these are same you can check one of these if this is empty barcode uh, is not recognized it can uh, it cannot be read yeah this is the case if this is empty but it can be not empty well, there is a case for example uh, for barcode inside the image we are gonna see with this one if it opens okay there is four barcode in here one of them it may be not uh, recognized three of them is recognized so how you are gonna understand that uh, in that case uh, this decoded info is gonna um, assign an empty to the element of inside so if this is empty uh, it's not recognized so it's gonna enter here but if it is not empty um, how to say the let's say uh, this decoded info has four elements inside the first one let's say this barcode number the second one is nothing it means empty and the third one also something and the fourth one also something but this is gonna give you empty but there is an element inside but an empty element it means there is a barcode in here but it's not recognized so you can understand easily okay maybe a little complicated but after uh, trying the example maybe you you can understand more clearly okay the barcode detected we entered the enter to the corners that empty if not not yeah we entered here after that we are checking each element of corner size we are not checking each element but we are checking each four elements of corners why because uh, it's giving with an order these elements the four elements of the corners is gonna be including the first detected barcode corners the second four elements is gonna be representing if there is second barcode inside the frame it means it's gonna be belonging to the second barcode rectangles corners yeah so that's why we are uh, in, uh, increasing the element uh, number four by four yeah also how many times it entered here it the number of the entering to this for loop 
it means uh, that much the barcode is detected inside the frame it's representing okay and the next step I'm dividing uh, each eye by four because uh, it means the since this entered one time uh, so I need to get the element index of decoded info also so I'm dividing by four which is gonna be belonging to that uh, barcode information we including if it is empty so I'm drawing a rectangle in in some way because just there is four line and these four lines just uh, the for example starting from i to i plus one i plus one to i plus two i plus two to three so four uh, lines around the barcode which is representing a rectangle in a reality okay and this is gonna be blue it will it will mean uh, it is not decoded and the second one which is yellow gonna be the rectangle it means it's decoded and I'm gonna put a text with the information and also with the decoded type to the frame I also make it uh, make it right to the console because maybe it's not readable on the image because some of them may be small resolution so I'm also writing to the console and showing in the output I hope I'm clear uh, it's simple maybe in some case in some way I made it complicated but after seeing example maybe it will be easy okay let's run the code and this is the input and this is the output barcode detected written it means there is a barcode inside the image there is a rectangle which is yellow it means uh, it can be decoded and also it's written to here which is totally uh, correct if you check with this number is totally correct and the second image let's try that which is including four barcodes inside okay and this is output this is input so this is blue because uh, it's detected but it is not recognized it cannot be decoded so it's blue color the others yellow because they are able to uh, read um, these barcode numbers also you can check here they are totally correct so this is the uh, maybe easiest case because these examples are from OpenCV examples also we can try with my camera which is a difficult case than this um, with this for that we need to create a video capture and okay this is done and uh, all I need is a while loop this is gonna be wait key one it's gonna be enough and um, I need to maybe I need to check frame uh, is valid or not in here but I will just uh, pass this because I'm, I'm sure it's gonna uh, it's not gonna be invalid and okay now it's gonna open my camera and read my barcodes I hope let's try hi by the way okay this is input this is output also my camera is really bad so if it is can it can read this is really good it means okay now it's detecting but it's not yet read the numbers I guess it's still blue color okay still blue because maybe this is uh, vertical so it cannot uh, read the vertical one let's try the horizontally horizontally but um, opposite side maybe it's really blurry also not easy maybe I need to do this okay it cannot read let's try in the right direction
okay it's now available to read at least we can see because uh, we see at least a yellow rectangle so it's able to read let's check um yeah you can see that is all the numbers are same even some reading wrongly because it start from here um, but it's actually reading correct except this one this is totally um, yeah totally wrong because this missing uh, giving wrong number is not acceptable I think but yeah this is not good but also I need uh, to tell that this is a really difficult case but because my camera and the light condition is not easy let's try with a, one more example okay yeah it's already able to read we see some yellow rectangles so it's able to read i believe okay is able to read yes all the numbers are same but there is also a missing number here um, okay so let's summarize what I want to tell uh, okay there is a difficult case but it's not acceptable even sometimes it's giving wrong result it's not acceptable so I can say this is not really good in zinc and zbar even uh, some um, not qualified inputs uh, it's giving yeah it's not it was not giving wrong result at least it was giving correct results uh, so the giving wrong results um, I think cannot be acceptable so okay but uh, in some cases also if input is good i believe this is gonna work fine um, if your inputs if your camera is better it would be better to use in that case and yeah for this video i just wanted to try and i wanted to show you also so yeah that's all see you in the next videos